Hello, thanks for joining me. At the base of the Tower of Holy Trinity Church, Newcastle Emlyn in Carmarthenshire, is this impressive headstone to a soldier who died in the summer of 1843. He had seen service in the 4th Light Dragoons in the First Anglo-Afghan War and survived that conflict, but met his end in Wales. This is his story. Trooper John Kearns was from an Irish family, but born in Birmingham. His mother, Eliza, lived in Belfast and was named as his next of kin in his service record, his father presumably being dead by then. He was a tailor before enlisting in the regiment at London in the winter of 1838. He held the rank of private soldier throughout his service. About six months after joining the Dragoons, he embarked for India, landing in Bombay in the summer of 1839 to fight in the First Anglo-Afghan War. The march into Afghanistan was brutal and wearying with a lack of food and water taking a heavy toll on the men. The regiment fought in the Battle of Ghazni, halfway between Kandahar and Kabul, under the command of Lord George Paget. In overall command of the British and Indian troops was General Sir John Keane. After taking the citadel of Ghazni, the troops went on to Kabul, where they were unopposed and a puppet ruler was installed in Afghanistan. In spring 1842, Trooper Kearns was back on English soil. The following summer saw a troop of the 4th Light Dragoons, under the command of Captain Palby, deployed to Newcastle Emlyn to defend the workhouse from attack by the Rebecca rioters. Trooper Kearns was in the party billeted there. The Rebecca rioters were protesting against tolls on turnpike roads and the poor laws. They had threatened the master of the workhouse, David Davis, with death if he did not leave it. Carmarthen Workhouse was attacked by the rioters, but the workhouse at Newcastle Emlyn was spared by the presence of the soldiers. In fact, the Rebecca rioters were content to turn their attention to softer targets, and the troops had nothing to do. An idle posting in the height of summer was, ironically, what led to the death of John Kearns. On the 26th of July, he and five comrades decided to go into town and swim in the River Tyvee. Unfortunately, their chosen spot was under the bridge, a dangerous stretch of river, and Kearns got into trouble. Despite efforts to rescue him, he drowned. Trooper Kearns' accidental death was falsely reported in the English press as a murder. Reports were printed in London saying he'd been thrown into the river by the Rebecca rioters after a skirmish on the bridge. These falsehoods caused much anger in the town. Some may have not cared too much that one of the soldiers sent to frustrate the action of the rioters drowned, but others of the town were more sympathetic. An unknown gentleman of the town, with the initials W.S., who probably had no truck with the rioters, wrote a verse lamenting his end, which was published in the Welshman newspaper. He fell not when war scattered wide devastation and steeped India's soil in the blood of the slain. When fever or plague spread around desolation or famine more dreadful than death on the plain. Unscathed he escaped in the wave's wild commotion, in safety he sailed o'er the waters profound. But ah, though secure on the tempest-tossed ocean, in Tyve's mean streamlet, the warrior was drowned. His comrades were certainly upset at his death. He was buried with full military honours in Newcastle Emlyn churchyard. The soldiers were just about preparing to depart the town so they arranged for a suitable monument to be put up to Trooper Kearns. The inscription reads, Erected by his officers and comrades as a mark of esteem to the memory of John Kearns of Captain Palby's troop, 4th Light Dragoons, who died 26th of June 1843, aged 25 years. Under this is carved a verse which shares some similarity with the verse which appeared in the newspaper. He fell not in battle strife, nor in the gultry plain. Death did not meet the warrior there, nor on the stormy main. But here, 
In Tyvee's winding stream one sunny summer's day, while bathing peacefully he sank, his spirit passed away. Mourn, reader, with his comrades, mourn, or one so young and brave, and trust in him whose mighty arm from endless death can save. In his book about the Newcastle Emlyn Workhouse, the late Ken Jones adds an interesting note for which I am unable to find corroborating evidence, but which may be true. He says that John Kern's gravestone was originally intended for David Davis, the master of the workhouse, whose life had been protected by Captain Palby's men. Apparently, David Davis had already purchased his own headstone ready for his death, but instead he offered it to the soldiers to be used for Trooper Kearns. The headstone does say it was erected by Kearns' officers and comrades, but the headstone of David Davis, who eventually died 25 years later in 1868, is a similar large and impressive headstone, or it was before the decorative pieces fell apart. It is, in fact, enormous, the biggest in the churchyard. Perhaps if he bought a second headstone for himself, he thought he'd improve on the original. I hope you found Trooper Kern's story interesting. Before you go, please remember to hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel by hitting subscribe and the little bell. It's free and will tell you when new videos are uploaded. Meanwhile, have a look at some of my other videos. There are several about the town of Newcastle Emlyn. And as always, thank you for watching.